Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got painted polish. Bean me up, Scotty. And Maniology MXM101 and Turquoise. I'll be using the Painted Desert Extra Small Oval Nails and Orderly Bonder. Let's get right on into it. Here we go with the Orderly Bonder. Just a sticky base to help this polish stick to these tips. You could file them with a nail file or um, chemically etch them. I've seen people doing that too. You know, like with primer and bonder. I don't do that part. And here is Bean Me Up Scotty by Painted Polish. Very pretty. Got some glitters in there. Some metallic glitters. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. Give a little wipey wipe across the end there. And we're going to go in with the second coat. And I do love these. And I know they're not everybody's cup of tea. I said that when I did my haul video. Um, we're going to top it with the pure ice. And this is just the girl on the run top coat. Um, I don't know that you can find this anymore. Um, if you can, great. Uh, I haven't found it in a long time. I used to buy it every time I spotted it. And I'm getting messy. I'm getting it all down on my thumbnail down there underneath. It's okay. I clean up pretty good. I'm trying to smooth that out. Make sure it's not lumpy. I'm going to let that dry. I got Maniology MXM101. It's like a fairy stamping plate. And I could have done some advanced stamping or reverse stamping, but I didn't. I'm just going to straight up stamp. But first, we need to clean this plate off. I'm using the Clear Jelly Stamping Plate Cleaner. And we have Turquoise from Maniology. And a Cube Stamper and Scraper from Maniology. And we're just going to plop some of these images onto these nails. Now these images would have been really great for doing some reverse stamping. But I have to be honest, on this particular day, I didn't have time for all that. I was doing good to find some playtime period. And and I really liked how this looked. That turquoise pops so cute over the that base color. Cleaning my stamper off on a lint roller. I'll clean the plate off when I'm done. Um, since I'm moving around the plate and scraping away from other images so that, you know, I'm not covering up other images I might want to use. Because I didn't have this all mapped out. I'm just kind of looking at the plate. And I pick another image. <laughs> just pick as I go. And I really did like this one. I thought this was a lot of fun. The stamping plate is etched very nicely. I didn't have any problems with pickup. Using a little piece of tape there to get excess image up that I don't want accidentally getting on my nail. It's a cute little fairy. Have pretty little wings. And then I think I'm going to grab a flower down here. And pick that up. I almost went for the dragonfly, but the flower one. Ta-da! There we go. I'm going to clean this plate again with the clear jelly stamper plate cleaner. Kind of get it stuck to the mat so I can wipe it without it scooching all around my desktop here. Go flip that cotton ball over. And there we go. Nice and clean. Ready to be put away. All right. I am wiping it. I don't have anything on that lint-free wipe. Just wiping it. Today I'm going to be using the Maniology Aqua Topper over these. You can use this kind of as a pre-sealer without smudging. And once that's dry, I'm going in with the Shush Vite today. You know, I change it up. I'm using all sorts of things that are sitting out on my desk. Capping that free edge and the back edge. And these glue tabs came from Shein. I'm just going to use them. I've applied them to my nails. And then just line that up and push, push, push it onto the nail. Make sure they're straight. 
Got a couple of swatch photos. The lighting was a little different, so you can see them a little differently. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.